Hello, 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 everyone. My name is True Heart Revenge, and welcome to Life is Strange. We're about to do episode four. The choices I have made up until this point, uh, a little sketchy. I'm not a big fan of, uh, I'm, I rewind too much. I, I'm like, I want to cover my tracks, but I always forget that I did some important things. Like, I didn't erase, I ended up not erasing the message from the cop for Chloe, so David's gonna get after her. I ended up, like, I ended up siding with David, and I just, oh, jeez. It has been a day, and, um, you, you probably noticed I'm not wearing my headset. I've been do I've been recording for a few hours now, figured, eh, I'll do away with the headset for right now, just sit back, relax with some headphones in so it does my mic doesn't catch the game audio, and we can just kind of go through episode four. Sorry about the long intro, just wanted to explain myself, what I'm unhappy with. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield, hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice the consequences of the world. I'll choose wisely. Oh, I had more time to read that. Whoops. A game by You Should Totally Nod Entertainment. Uh, who said that? Definitely Nod? Okay. find out what the dark room is in this episode because I'm not sure I'm ready for that emotionally. I'm not ready for this emotionally. Oh. <sighs> I don't... <laughs> I have nothing. I have no excuses. We, f we fucked up again. We do that quite often, Maxine. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. 
I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Well, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. There's like twice as many. Kind of know how they feel. From the last episode. At least I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. It's full. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? Oh, After I mean, snow oh, and just eclipse, like, it's more like the end two of the hours world. ago. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. Oh, that kills me. I like that word. Hella. I like that word. They just really like do these transition scenes just to let the guilt sink in like you did this to her you fucked it up how do you feel about that you gotta fix it now how are you gonna fix it you don't even know yet we're gonna blow your fucking mind i'm like oh okay don't not i got you Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're I grateful you're here how with them. That shit costs. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, no. you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Sure thing. No problem. Oh, it is water. There's this bracelet. There's the old Chloe. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Chloe is still a punk at heart. Black Adam. But she can't stage dive anymore. Pisshead? Somebody named their band Pisshead? That's I'm okay so with that. It's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Hot Wheels chat room. So what are you doing? Talking with you. Haha. Ha. No shit. Her name's Miss Blue. That's cute. About to binge on Quantum Leap. Oh my god. Love. Scott Bakula. So to you. I hope we can meet soon. Not if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're binging on Bakula. You're better. Hello? Oh, maybe... No, Ignatius is us. Interesting. Okay. Mouth controlled joystick. Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's actually really sweet. It's so great people get this high tech help. Great it is. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Don't remind me, Max. Oh god, I'm I'm back. I'm taking too long. Can I get some water? Let me look at your entire room first. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast, dude? I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, oh, that's it's fucking bug a bad here. habit of mine. Not ready for that. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But. We're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. I am Supermax. That's what my parents though. are for. They love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. They always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max. The accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Uh, 
I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. True. Now let's you get do. this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Okay, movie time. Over here. Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. That's so cute. That's so fucking cute. Ah, uh, here's the DVD. Sweet. So I'll just put it in, or is there other things we got to do? Yeah. Not much we can do. DVD player it is. Just seems so happy despite her situation. I mean, maybe she's just happy happy that we're here, but I don't know. It's so cute. Like, I can't. <laughs> Oh. oh, we both fell asleep. Who fell asleep first, I wonder? Oh no, Chloe's still awake. Shit, shit. <laughs> oh no. Chloe was awake all night. We done fucked up. <laughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <gasps> Good comeback. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but... We have to change it, though. Being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, <laughs> my parents keep the total Star Trek. Seriously, I, I need can't it. get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. This is so difficult. All right, let's talk to William Damn, since we saved his ass. Hey, William. Am I bothering you? Oh, why yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed. But she knows you care. Now I'm I know not how mad. hard it is to process Just all this. Just disappointed. It's taken us years. 
William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Uh, Joyce. Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Oh, damn. Sounds like you know okay. them well. Easy peasy. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Oh, she's a like real estate agent now. Fuck. Crazy weather we're having, huh? What do you huh? think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. Yeah. Do you know anything about I Rachel? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber? Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Despite the cost? I, I mean, was impressed that's... by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. Great parents. Fantastic parents. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... Uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But... But we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? It was a good I one. Have to go see I if got Chloe you, William. Needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please keep me from these bills whenever you want. A Victoria texted, "Come by my room tonight, Max. Are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast." Nathan was worried too. Oh, oh if you want to talk, hit me up, Kay. Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, Kate. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. Meanwhile, she's shit-talking me behind my back. I know it's been a while. I just wanted to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell, that's so awesome. You rule. Best of all, we can hang again, so yeah, this is still my number. Cool, I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll get together soon. Don't tease me, it's been too long. I know, I'll see you. What a list. Hey Max, it's a shame you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Alyssa, I saw you throw TP at me. Oh my god, I was not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. Who are we? Yeah, right, I cried like a bitch. What? Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom is a badass like you. Yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone is about to die, so call me back. Oh, you. In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. Sweet. So no two whales for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. Uh, happy birthday, we can't believe- yes, give me some time to answer. I can't just text in every class. Some teacher gets super pissed when people use their phone. Yes, because it's super rude, and please don't be so snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one. And that's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use your card credit card when I needed it. I only bought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. I'll call you later. I have to go. Don't pout. Love you. Hey, honey. I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Mommy. Wow, we are a bitch. We are big bitch. Super bitch. Jeez. I'm not gonna Super disappointing. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. 
Oh man, it's crazy. Choices of food coupon boss. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. All right, I should probably actually just do the morphine thing. Oh. I don't want to take too long. Ugh. Bite me. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine too. Nothing here. Where she said it was, right? The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Oh, there are two sides to that. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Bill. What's in this room now? It's complete emptiness. That's really sad. At least we never had to hide from step douche. A blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Perhaps not. We're gonna have some deep thoughts in this empty room. I'm Might make me emotional. By this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again. For real, these are like the exact thoughts I'm having. It's fucking with me, man. That's... Oh, they started with crutches? They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Oh. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Dear Joyce. Thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I'm so sorry that I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I'm underwater with my own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love, Aunt Dorothy. Okay. Oh, people are just Toys? trying to get... I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. It won't give me the option to. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Hey, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. Salt Lake. Okay. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money is nobody's favorite. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother... Uh, Aaron. I guess we stopped growing up together. Why'd you have to say that? Makes me sad, Max. Why did I do that? Why? Can we go in here? Yeah. Oh, Joyce is in here. Oh, hey, Max, Joyce. It is so nice to have you around. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie, it's difficult, but 
Nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Your voice different? Plus, I might be tripping though. You guys have to work too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe will actually listen to William while she usually ignores me. Oh, no. it's so cute Why? when they gang up on poor old me. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Smoking. Huh. <sighs> Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. <laughs> Joyce is already a super mom. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. It's a good shot. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. By Dr. Bill, again. Oh, man. This. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. Wait, what's... Wait, 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 who's... I'm, I'm very confused. Okay. My brain just sort of stopped working there for a second. I These bills should all just say, Dear sir, you are screwed. That's too relatable, William. It's too real. Dear sir, you are screwed. Finally. All right. uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay. okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. We did it right, though. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. 
but you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. <sighs> See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Where? She gestured. I'm fuck. Uh. Uh. Open a window? Or look out the window? Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. Killing me. Oh, there it is. Nope. All right, time to do a thing. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my God. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> My dad would have banished me. Turn that page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. You're gonna make me sad. Make me sad. Can't do it. Can't do it, Chloe. Oh Bye. man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. Wait. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only Can five years ago. Can we go back? Ago. Literally to seems the like the future. Yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. Sorry, breaking the text. This photo. Yes. Maybe I could. Yes, Max, do it, please. Listen, Max, my respiratory system is failing and, uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my Sorry. parents suffer along and I will too. If you ask me to do what I think you're about this to This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. Do it. Don't I just wanted it. to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you <clears throat> to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. Is that a thing that can happen to an IV? <laughs> it sounds way too punk rock to be fuck. Fuck. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea. Chloe, I'm gonna take the middle road here. I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Yeah, for real. Max, you were there for your friend, no matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. You're asking me to kill I you. I want to help you, Chloe, but I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just <sighs> do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. <sighs> Please. I can't. Don't throw me back into it. Help me, Max. Don't throw me back into it. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. If I refuse, she's going to be pissed. 
but she made a good case. I can always go back in time, right? Oh, God. Oh, God. No. No, I can't. No. No, 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 no. Chloe. Oh. I can't. It wrecks me to see you in any pain, but I don't have any right to do this. I'm an adult. I'm Shit. giving you the right. But Joyce and William, I already said my goodbyes to them, but they won't honor my wishes. You will, right? I, I can't kill you with an overdose. Max, I'm dying from my oh. illness, not my dosage. This accelerates the process. I'd rather go out on a wave than a rock. And I want my best friend to help me out. I am going to help you, but not like that. I can't. You have to There's, there's no me. way. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able Why to do not? it in real life. I'm not going to do it in digital life. You're just bailing on me like everybody else. Why don't you go now? You've been wanting to since you got here, right? So go and don't come back. Chloe, that's not fair. I am never leaving you again. That's not fair. That's like... Look at this photo. Look at this photo. Look at the, yeah, look I'm at the sorry, photo. William. Getting out of here. I can't believe William has to die. He's like one of the better characters we've encountered in here. Like 60% shitty, awful people. Oh, I got it. Got it like right off the bat. I feel badass about that. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. Newfangled computers. This is Sorry, I'm trying to go back in time too. Hello? I have to let it happen. Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar oh. for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? We could have given Chloe the option. That's cruel, like uh -huh. Max said. You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. And how do we tell Chloe about this? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. No. God. I'm not crying, you're crying. Fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. <sighs> That was a really rough decision. That was so hard. Deciding if we wanted to kill her or not. And then like, oh yeah, we have to go back in time to kill your dad, by the way. So that all this is back to what we're used to being normal. Like, I wonder if the story start if we started the story out that way and switched it to David Madsen, like that side. I wonder if we'd want to change it back. Like, probably not, but... We took a photo of that? I mean, this could just be symbolism. Is 
Is everything back to all my regular decisions, or did shit change? Is David not a dick? Is Nathan not a socio-psychopath, whatever he is? I don't know. We're not in Rachel's clothes anymore. Oh shit! Chloe, you're back. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me. I'm oh, I forgot we did that. I'm just I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. I was. I was <laughs> spaced out too. Wait, so we're back to Welcome being back friends to again? The real world, Max. Wait, 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 wait. Because she was mad at us before we went back in time to... Before we went back to change what happened to William. She was pissed at us. But now she's in my room and we've been solving this thing? I mean, that's it's quite a jump, quite a leap. We must have... Something must have changed in that timeline. Because that's really weird. So, all right, Let's we'll look at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. Oh, you need me to puzzle solve. Good thing I'm the best puzzle solver. Best. 10 out of 10. Best skill. So I put on a resume. Great puzzle solver. So close, yet so far fuck, away. Fuck. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your I... pants. Ah. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. Fine, whatevs. Your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. I don't trouble. think it's finite. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. Unless you want to hang out with him after you stood up for his ass yesterday. Oh, please. I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous. Amazing how innocent our drawings were compared to what we're doing now. Yeah, but let's focus. Wait, what do we have to do now? Oh, we're in, oh, we're in her room. I lied. We're not back. I'm so dumb. Or yeah, not back in Max's, but we're friends again. Like, she's not mad at us. Or wait. Take a photo. I'm getting lost in all this shit. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Wait, so... This butterfly photo seems like a million years old. We leaving? There we go. Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. Sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number, now I get why you didn't want to go ape with me. Go with Chloe. She looks cool enough for you. I have a lot of cool friends, like you. Yes, you do, just my luck. And mine, I have to jet, talk to you later, I hope so. Ouch. Oh, what the hell is this? Hey, girlfriend! Let me know when you want to come by my room, I'll give you a fashion makeover! 
It's done with homework now, but I'll check in with you later. Thanks again for the offer. Justin? What? <laughs> uh, sorry, my phone is in my bag. Hey, Justin, you busy? Max Wax, I'm busy blazing. What up? You know Frank Bowers? Drugs. That's it. Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. Mom. And so will send me an email. Hey, honey, I hope you don't forget. Call us as soon as you can. We're proud of you standing that poor girl. Sorry, Mom, will call you back in a few minutes. Don't be mad. I can explain. Next thing, I'm so glad you're honest with me. Uh, what the heck is going on with the weather up there? Are they doing military tests or something? You're right in the eye of the storm. No comment. I've got Lisa. I've kept Lisa alive through all this, so we're still safe. Is Lisa the plant? Because I feel good about keeping Lisa alive. What's that I got to say? Hey, honey, I just got a weird text warning me to say that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank and it's from a block number? Oh, I'm sorry. Some jackets in my class thought that would be funny to send. It's not. Don't like strangers having my number. Okay, me neither. Sorry. I'm just a being a dad. I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. Hey. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you and your bunny misses you. Yeah, you're such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. Visit me this week. Max, thank you for your reaching out to me on the roof. Okay, yeah. And yet. Hey, Juliet, are busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything, I was just curious if you ever heard a guy named Frank who lives in an RV downtown. You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from ace reporter Juliet Watson. Hello. <laughs> We did keep secrets. All right, Chloe. I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XOXO, and that was no emoji. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll be... Oh, okay, this is... Oh, this is all different. How's the Blackwell hero doing? The hero is shaking with nerves, and I even got suspended. Such bullshit. You're a boss, but no emoji. Plus suspension rules. Listen, something weird and scary is going down at Blackwell. It's time for us to put pieces together. Cool. I have something to show you. Meet me in front of campus. Get that ass in gear now. Hey, man, I suck again. Sorry I got in your face today and took my... Oh! Oh, we apologized. Okay, Chloe, I understand you're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. Okay, that is your one get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stop up on six coffee and candy for an all nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. All that stuff. Okay. Did I miss anything? Nope. Got them all. Sweet. The most expensive restaurant in town. David knows how to get on Joyce's good side. <laughs> sure does. Oh shit, David's out there. Could be mad at us. It looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Maybe. Maybe not. Anything I can do for you, Max? I I was just waiting for Chloe to get out of the bathroom so we can go. I owe you one. So I'll pretend what you just said is true, Missy. Excuse me, that's Miss Caulfield. Yes, sir. Ooh. You and Chloe still better be careful where you wander. There are a lot of dark places in Arcadia. Speaking of dark places, David. What do you mean by dark places? I can't tell you everything that's going on in Blackwell. Room? And you've seen too much already, so... Pretty fucking dark. Please stay out of this, Max. Too late. I already know way too much. So... Do you and Nathan Prescott... Nathan Prescott? That little shit ass is lucky he didn't get suspended. Yeah, I was lucky to only get suspended. Thanks to you. I didn't have all the evidence at the time. I... I am sorry, Max. Anyway, I think we can both agree it's been a hard week on all of us. Especially poor Kate Marsh. I tried to help Kate. You did, Max. You saved her life, like a hero, while I left the goddamn dorm roof wide open. I knew Kate was feeling desperate. You even made it to the roof before me or anybody. I knew Kate was desperate too. So did Mr. Jefferson. That guy is an elitist prick, and I'm off duty, so I can say it at home behind his back. 
Like when <laughs> Chloe calls me step douche. These artists live in a fantasy world. He Why knows something. Him? These art farts are all about themselves. When I was in the service, I hated the photographers who tried to pose me in their anti-war bullshit. Well, Blackwell Academy is a school for artists, so maybe this isn't the best place for you. I have a family here, Max, and I think Blackwell is the best place for me, since only I know what's happening. Of course, thanks to Mrs. Grant and her hippie anti-surveillance petition, I hope everybody feels safer, like Rachel Amber and Kate Marsh. Although, you're like a walking surveillance system. I appreciate you standing up for me, but I have to be a hard ass and tell you and Chloe to stay the hell out of this. Things are just gonna get more ugly. Chloe and I can take care of ourselves. Now excuse me, Max. I have to get back to my camera. See? I'm an artist too. Mm. Such a cocky prick is what you are. What's that? Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private Despite a rather anymore. heated discussion about the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system, I am still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. We must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Yeah. Sorry, but this is my official man cave, so no girls allowed. You. I'm gonna unlock your locker now. If I can. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Yeah, we're gonna unlock that shit. We already know the combination, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. From the last episode. I knew that number would be important. I don't know why I remember that particular one, but. Oh, I thought those were the binders oh, we've been seeing. Maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. Wait, he had time to take a photo of us getting our asses beat? Twilight Zone. Okay, we're keeping that. Score. Back to Chloe now. I give up William but defend David? Oh, would Chloe hate me if she- No, Chloe! Yeah. Are you ready yet? Thank I you for putting that in dorm. perspective, oh, Max. I wasn't happy. feeling shitty already. I the secret file jackpot. It's Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus there's some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. I that's going to be important. Whatever Kate can tell us. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. I'm feeling my hair fall. I keep but imagine how Sorry, Kate feels. That. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. Okay, I had no see, idea that came what around. shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. We're good. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. At least she's smiling now. I feel good about that. I'm so glad they give us something uplifting Max. a little bit after. <sighs> if we, what, what if she committed suicide? I we would just have a depressing episode again. right now. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so oh. sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. 
You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Sometimes Kate. that's what it takes. Sometimes there are so it's... many people who love you know. and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. I'm keeping the balloons, though. <laughs> One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. And they're happier now. They're happier drawings. I love they're not your illustrations. Terrifying. They got kind of dark there for a while, but. I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel and Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Yeah. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. I wish I could have gotten his ass kicked out of Blackwell. Me too. But his dad would never let that happen. I thought I had a tough family. So what is going on with him now? I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people. But Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. Oh, yeah. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. Oh, we just yeah. have to find Nathan's room number get inside and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I'm straight, Kate. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan like a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh yes, and you could bring Warren along, too. No. no. <laughs> Warren? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. He does. And he's a cutie that he pie. Does. You know he likes you. So I've heard. <laughs> he asked me to go to the drive-in, but I turned him down. Oh, really? You guys would be a perfect couple. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad somebody is looking out for my love life. Even angels need angels, Max. Aww. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. Sweet. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Anytime. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Alice, like Alice in Wonderland, is up. Yeah, I like it. Postcard. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. But not Nathan. Of course Nathan didn't sign. Luke, Warren, Hayden, Justin, Stella, Evan, Trevor, Rory. Oh, Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see her smile again. Please let me know if you need a XO Vic. Oh, I don't know what that brought up. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. 
Student and fac faculty have organized a rally in your honor, and I've never seen such an outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little, given your circumstances, but it's important to know that we do care. If you need any assistance at, any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Principal Ray Well. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. That was the photo I remembered very vividly. That's why I just jumped on the opportunity to bring up her sisters, because I knew it would Good to have see to be that done. Kate is still working on her book report. God, that would suck. It's just... amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. Is that what we do? Is that like our dynamic? I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. Yeah. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Ah. <sighs> Time travel is such a mind fuck. Okay. So I need to hear what she had to think. And we're gonna. I think hey, we can Kate, speak to Kate about that you. Victoria thing. Which makes me happy. Yeah, cool. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a. Uh. Not. Nice, but <laughs> I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. Uh, I might be naive, but nice. I feel her struggle. Holy Me too. Nice. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? For acceptance. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Right. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. I have to get back to our uh, mission. Okay. I do. So we're going to get the room number from her. We're gonna invade the boys' dorm. Well, how it's is gonna she? be awesome. She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. See, Chloe has a soft now side. Let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not gonna be glad when he sees us. I want to. I don't want to talk to him. His voice annoys me. His existence annoys me. Annoys me. Ugh. Yelling out of here. What the fuck? Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yeah. Chloe. Yeah. Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? <laughs> it's weird being suspended and just sure? walking around this campus. Kid. Well, you are an adult. Yeah, all right. Now. This isn't prison, is it? Not until we get orange jumpsuits. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate. Even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. I don't know how to enter a photo. An artist to work. I was going to enter a photo. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. Why are you hitting Nobody on Jefferson? should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Chloe. Pot for teacher. Gross! You are yeah. out of control. Reel it Not in. yet. 
Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. Yeah, you go for it. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Thanks for running into me, bitch. Justin, it's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us now, Chloe. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. Try going to Blackwell. Insane. So I hear. Any word at all, Rachel? Oh, she's back with her drone. I had to clear away. Totally important. Got shit to do. Droning. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? That sounded so insincere. How's your drone? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant caved and let me fly her again. So take a spin. I have to see what time I'm going to the drive-in with Warren on Saturday. Oh? Huh? That sounds fun. It would be good for you and Warren to take a road trip after this week. Warren got a new car, or an old new car. So I'm all about a serious road trip out of here after this week. Yes. What's going down? Are those totems like super important? Have I been, been ignoring those? All right. We good. Thanks. Just wanted to do it. Just wanted to get a drone in again. But we have to talk again. I hope Max isn't pissed at one. Back again, Brooke. Are you sure you're all right? Back again, Brooke. <laughs> I need to find Nathan. Why do we say it like that? I was distracted I by Warren asking me out to the drive-in. It's a school day, so Nathan should be around. I did see him this morning heading off campus. He looked more angry than usual. I wouldn't look for him now if I were you. I, I can't get my limited brain around that cliffs and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. After this week, I he asked you? That, makes, that sense. makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but even... I didn't skip that. <laughs> Just <laughs> totally unfinished line there. Oh. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. After we talk to Miss Grant. Grant. Hello, Max. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. Why are you talking about me? I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. Oh, no, we're not. No way. I just have to, uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angrier than usual. He just always but looks that honest, way. That's Max, his face. Hasn't been too well you might know more about that than me. Too much. I can tell. You look like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe Wait, asking ask? Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? I'll get everything else out of her, and then I'm going to go back and see if happening in that speech Bay. bubble if is I for could, her. I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may Fair. never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. 
Unless you count those end of the world posters. Unless you know something I don't. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Really? Would you really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. Good one. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You What's did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. True. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. Thank you. I don't mean to get riled up. But that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? Everything to do with the Vortex I mean, They don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. Hell yeah. All right, so we got some beach stuff. I could talk to Samuel, but I don't know. I'd rather kind of just move on. Do that handshake with everybody. Coast I feel less special now. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Ugh. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. So lame, they don't have co ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Yeah. That's the point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. If I had to guess, it'd be the most disturbing looking one. Bigfoot's got big balls. Oh, wait. 111. You're the best, Kate. 10 out of 10. Love that you bring out the rebel me. You already are a rebel, trust me, always. And please, please be careful, promise. Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. 109 and 11. Prescott's rule, of course. Obvious as shit. Oh! Sure. I would never have figured that out myself, and we just busted the shit out of his handle. to find Nathan's phone. Yeah, Damn, but Nathan, that's a nice shot. <sighs> if only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. What? You heard that, right? Hmm. 
Nathan is way into this party. Hey, gorgeous. Let me That's know what you're fine. wearing to the vortex this week, so we can, so I can wear something just as stylish and expensive. I'm psyched about going, and I'm picking up some serious party. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it on fucking point, right? Yeah, let's. Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Nate, I know this has been a, st a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Panastates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step. To this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny. But you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Let's make an appointment to see me. Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... We'll never know. Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. No. No, the man is fucking insane. What the hell? What the hell are all those marks on the floor? What's on the screen, actually? Camera. That monochrome camera is brand new and costs about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. Uh, wait, I see a red binder. Oh, nothing? Okay. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but... Once again, the Prescott's rule. Okay, there's definitely a door map around here. Whale songs? Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. Okay. No judgment on that one. That is so Chloe. I'm gonna tell everybody what you did and you're gonna pay. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Okay, that's what's going down. Is that the broken lamp? That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. What the fuck is this game? Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector find shit though I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit yep. let's find out what you're hiding oh yes little phone you are mine now Is that a burner phone like just a phone he uses for a specific thing. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Yeah, we're out of here, though. We're done. All good in the woods. All right. Chloe. Chloe, we got shit. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check it's this out. Creepy as hell, man. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Oh shit. What are you doing in my dorm? 
Your the whole the whole thing is your dorm. You're whole... such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me ho. <clears throat> Max. Oh. I got this. Not again. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> oh. Oh, get him, Warren. Uh, get him. You are so fucking dead. Uh, oh, get him. Uh, get off get me, him. bro. Uh, no, get him. Uh, Fuck him up. Oh, no, don't stop him. Shit, no, 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 go back, go back. Stop oh, shit, no, 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 no. I'm gonna uh, let him do that. Oh, that is my, my decision. Uh, why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go, now. Plus... My dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. Oh, yeah, that gave him way too much power. We're going all the way back. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try to be better than that. All right, Chloe, we good. Stay out of it. You like to hurt people, huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this, motherfucker! I don't feel bad about it. There you go. Yeah, let, let's go another Please. five minutes. I, I got time. I got fucking time, bruh. Please stop! He's down. Hey, come on. Stop. I'm sorry. Yes, we have to go. Who's the bitch now? Chloe. Yeah, that was way more satisfying. Yeah, I'm sticking with that one. Damn, I, I don't Warren feel went bad. full alpha on Nathan, and it was good. But Max, hurry up and find Nathan's room. Shit, man, this really hurts. He needed it. I, I think I think people like that have it coming. Um, it's karma. Karma's a bitch, and I control Damn. karma in this game. That so. was intense. All right, Warren. Uh, th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott. Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything oh. like him. Good nope. to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys, just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? Not no yet. police. Uh, not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, um... Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty out though. Yes. You are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. I know. Well, let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? <laughs> Frank always answers when he wants money. True. I answer when I want Like I said, too. Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Hmm. I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, then See, asshole's Chloe gonna has, help us find I'm, Rachel. I'm convinced Chloe is softer than well, she leaped on. You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. 
obviously I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I am so going to hate you. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. Hell. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his <coughs> money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. Frank doesn't need tinted windows when they're this dirty. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? We have it. Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard now, was it? Yeah, it was, let's not actually. do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Whatever. Dick bag. Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. No, that's not what we're Frank, here for. We're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? You already did. <laughs> you already did. Ah, oh, you fucking mental. I lost my keys, but I changed the lock. You better goddamn not be snooping around here. No, no, I'm not. I... Christ, I hate you, Blackwell. Shit. You expect everything for free. We gave You're you not like getting 4, any handouts from me. 5, I work for a living, you understand? Yes, Frank. Without those Blackwell shits as customers, you wouldn't have any work at all. Dude, Rude. you're a drug dealer. Yeah, right. Okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Wait, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me and then pulled the trigger. Bullets are old hide, but you scared me. I was helping Chloe after you threatened to cut her, remember? You know, you're lucky all I brought was a knife. Otherwise, you and your girlfriend wouldn't even be bothering me. You really think you're tough shit, girly. I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? I'm not afraid of anybody except my maker. And you little bitches think you can outsmart me? Why, because I'm trailer trash? No. You're Blackwell trash, and it's time to take you out. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever Still tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! Set the fuck back now! <laughs> Papadou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! Did not go as planned. <laughs> oh. No, oh, bad. Bad, Chloe. Bad. We're gonna have to rewind this shit, because that oh, should no. not have gone that way. Chloe. Rewind. I just shot a man and his dog. 
and we're not letting it go down like that. Frank Powers. You saved my life, Chloe. It, it was self-defense for both of us. No, we're going back. No. No, this is not how my playthrough is going. He's not gonna die. I will look up a guide That's if it. I have to. Let's get out of here. Do not tell sorry. me I have to reload this. I'm sorry. Because I will fucking reload this. Jesus. Chloe actually oh killed Frank. She'll never forgive herself. Or forget this. He got fucked and up. Only I can change it. The dog's not around. Ah, oh, it hurts my feels. Yeah, we're not leaving it that way. I will go through this as many times as I possibly can. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact okay. that this we will jumped. not go well. Max, I should have known you would be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Get rid of the gun. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. Can we skip that? Should have no. come alone. She's my partner. Or bodyguard. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Where's my fucking money? Keep it. I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because I wanted to tell you in person. Oh, I'm truly touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? We just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. Okay, we jumped right into this. No. <sighs> Jesus, okay. Okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Hope I'm doing this right. This is all different now. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh! <laughs> I'll just apologize. Listen, Frank, I'll just swallow my pride. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. Ooh, thank God he's I, not I a complete idiot. I just need a idiot. little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. No, literally Chloe just the bare minimum. about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a head. Frank, we did. What, you, you come... You scared me. To be honest, Frank, you scared me. You held a knife on my friend. I didn't want to pull the trigger. I could tell by the way you held that pop gun, with both hands, like it was a magnum. Or maybe I shouldn't have brought that knife to a gunfight. I only want to shoot with my camera. I swear. Ask Chloe. Look, Frank, Max doesn't need a gun anyway. So are we cool? Please? Okay. Please. We're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I love them. I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Real bad. But he's dead now. And I trained Pompadou how to be my friend. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse?
we show the letter or the bracelet, it's over. Because he'll know we were snooping. But if we talk about the photo, we already knew about that. And it's kind of like common knowledge. Try that. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. And Chloe's looking away. That's why away. you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Did we do it? Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog Fuck isn't yes. barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. <sighs> High five. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. <laughs> oh, God. I thought I was going to have to do that at least five more times. <laughs> at least. Thank God that went so well. Got her gun back. Okay, whatever. I'll live with it. That was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. Rachel must have seen something good in him. And we kept the money. <laughs> oh, I'm such an asshole. Let's go. Man. <laughs> Don't make me solve this now. And Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. I better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Frank Tech. Yeah, the surge was good. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you both want to party and good luck. Wow, we're actually friends with Frank now. I would have never predicted that. Gather info on a character by selecting the correct clue. For each section, there's a specific number of clues to select. Okay. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Oh shit, we're in first person. Okay, so... No, that, what am I doing? Uh, drug deal. Count book. Wait. Oh, I can... Why am I not hitting Y? Frank's account book. The client names are encrypted. This is client list. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. <laughs> Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan uh. in the Vortex Club. So actually, okay, let's Max, read this. Remember these names and see how Nathan Fancy fits car? in with all this. That's a Kate. Katie. Ola. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Shit. One gram of cocaine. One benzo plus speed. Huh. Two deals Rot. with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Okay, so that's important. Oh. I don't know what papers to select. Oh, you're treading water, Otter. Try again. Wait, we 
need to I think we need to link all of the ROP deals. So twice on the same day is this one. Rot. Sell that one. Two grams of Molly and a quarter pound of wheat. Rot. Yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. I know we can snap all these pieces together. Roger that. I'm going to study the board and try to connect all these dots. Yes. That's what we're doing now. Okay, so that's done. David's clues are now. Okay. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the part. David Sorry, I'm not listening. I'm just trying to focus on solving photos this. photos of Kate. 317. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. Look at all these license plates. You need to get rid of these damn cameras, David. At least David was finally going after the right suspect. David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. What if she should have that David upset. Madsen was following her and taking photographs, David? I thus. Of course, I'm a suspect. <laughs> Proving Dave, does David know what's going on with Rachel or is he just paranoid about everybody? I think all the Rachel. Hmm. Maybe he was trying to help Kate in his own messed up way. Well, Link. Those clues are not related. Looks like David was tracking somebody's car. Maybe even Nathan's. Good clue. Damn. I, I must have missed something. I wanted to look at Fuck, if I know. So, I think these two are right. I think this, this, this. And that's all yes. she wrote. I don't know why. Please it just sort of clicked in my head to choose those. In here. Okay. Great. Three. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? No. Oh, need to look at. Okay. Let's find out whose car this is. Yes, I, I thought it was like... Why the hell are you following these people? And to where? Of course Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensate. Interesting. Is this Nathan? Okay, this is just sad, Max. Okay, so it's not Twilight Zone. SXF Who does this TNDR. car belong to? And then, yes, oh, yes, that tape tied now everything we're together. Getting somewhere. I was just Chloe, paying attention to the, like, the, plug in these the license plate at the top. They lead to an actual address. Aye, aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Wait, we're done? I thought there were more clues. We had got a cell phone and everything. Oh, yep. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. Weird. All right. What could help me unlock this? Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to un Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. There's no way it's that. If there is a dark room, there's a lot of numbers in here. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. 9535, he has circled. Oh, so busted. It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Prescott, we regret to inform you that Nathan Pre Prescott has disrupted various classes over the past month despite repeated warnings and leniency due to the crude outburst. In Miss Hoyda's intro to literature class on Tuesday, September 20th, 
Nathan was sent back to his dormitory for the day without proper without a proper write-up for his files. Nathan has enormous potential, but also erratic behavior patterns that may need supervision beyond Blackwell's ability. The school cannot tolerate these disruptions, so we hope you will discuss this matter with Nathan to impress upon him the severity of the situation. Please see the attached files for the full reports. Alright, well, let's try unlocking them. No? No, not nope. that one. Maybe I should try to... Okay, Max. That Let's worked for some reason. Code up and go home. It was just all the numbers that I grabbed. That's like the only thing that ties them together. Let's start. Nathan texted. Getting re get ready to fucking die, bitches. You fuck up my dorm door, I kill your skull scholarship. Packing. I'm pretty sure the code is nine five three five. Five, three. Oops, bad code. Okay, I was wrong. That sim pin, not be right. Zero zero five eight. <sighs> yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. If it's one one one, I'm gonna be mad. You locked it, dumbass. Okay. <sighs> Here to change it, it says. Three nine eight eight. Bad code. It's probably something obvious that I'm missing here. I can't. I'm very bad at this deduction stuff. It's his fucking birthday. August 29th. Zero 08. Fine. Really? I quit. I quit everything. It's done. I'm mad at myself. That took way too long. All this. What yes. up? Yes. This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. You home got to party tonight. Home. On the way, load the bowl. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. Score ASAP. I'll make he high didn't have enough drugs. No, charge. no time charging double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Yes, I'll call you. I'll call to give exact directions. Get that Drug money dealer out. drama. You up, bro? No shit. What are you Peruvian flakes, keto acid. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need stuff, you home. Yes, don't come. Fuck off. God, Nathan. Hey, need You're weed, etc. Control. Call me your stuff. You tweaking? Soon. Up, 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 brother. Up, please. Meet Beach. Be cool. So it was you. Oh. Um, now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Is this from Nathan's father? Please don't contact it's me. Brutal. I told you this before. You want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I'd like nothing more than to be proud of you. You're not there yet. Or I'm not there yet. Either way is bad. Either way is really bad. Okay. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data, and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. The dorms don't count. Gas station is in... This is 10-4? Has to be this one. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some octos here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. 
As you've noticed, this whole town yeah. is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I don't like that I was idea. I afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. Sounds fucking terrifying but to me. Remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Out of beer bottles. <laughs> That's all I noticed out of all of that. I think we're heading to the dark room. That's exciting to me. Oh, broke the one rule they had. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. More puzzles, huh? We saw how long it took me to solve the last one. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Oh. Dude, somebody was just here. Then Break we the need padlock. to get in that barn. Use this to break the padlock? In theory, yes. In practicality, apparently not. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? I didn't realize that being the shit out of somebody would bruise my fist. Of course, I bruised his face worse. He had that coming. That whole fight was so insane. Yes, it was. How are you doing? Amped up. I wouldn't want to do it again. Unless I had to. You paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to the party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, I promise. Cool, now I have to get back to striking super poses. At least Warren's still the same. Ooh. That's not keeping me out. Fuck yeah. Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. I mean, the side door, technically. If you want to get technical oh, yes. camera focus Maximus on me. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. More puzzles. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, 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 look closer. New hey, shit Aaron also. Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Over here. Bye. What's that? Okay. So many haystacks. So f so many haystacks. So few needles. Oh. What's wrong with it. <sighs> Nothing here. Oh, I thought I saw something under that hay. Okay. About to be like the. F oh, more ground that I can search. Nothing. Maybe we're wasting our time searching the ground. Whoa. What is this? He knew it. it they wouldn't totally let us. It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. What? Do we have to. Are we gonna make some sort of contraption that's just okay, gonna break Chloe, through? Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. I hope. Okay. I don't know what that was supposed to do. Uh, can I jump up there? Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Huh. 
Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <laughs> okay. Am I supposed to see up here? Okay. This tractor has paid its dues. Sure has. That uh, great? Ah, oh, the good old days. Is that a clue? Is there a reason that they put that there in the game? Is that a fuck? Okay, where does that go? Oh, am I supposed to keep climbing? Dumbass. Wait, 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 wait. Hold it? Uh. Yeah. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Oh! Okay. So, let's do it. I thought we were gonna use that motor. I was getting excited a little bit. I was like, all right, what are we revving up? What are we gonna fuck up now? Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Like a motor? Like maybe. Now do we kick it over for funsies? Wait, why'd I pull it? Oh! Yes! Yes! That Skyver strikes again. Give it to me! Hell yeah, now we're looking like a superhero. Superhero drop! Just saying. All right, Chloe, it's time. Damn, this is heavy. I was gonna say another puzzle. That one took me a second. What is this? Jackpot. Do I even need to say how weird see this that? is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? I don't Press know. God, of course. I didn't think Nathan was this creepy on his own. I mean, I knew he was creepy, but this creepy? This is definitely the dark room. No, no two ways about it. This bunker is so surreal. I don't know the what. This is too heavy to break. So I'll need a code. It's three, it's three characters. Well, it's three numbers, rather. So, did you find anything in here? No. So it has to be that shopping. Yeah, there's the padlock, but what was, I don't remember the shopping list. Oh no. about home on the range it still looks fucking creepy i don't care that, that looks terrifying rusty button there's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys just checking i'm looking for shit Ugh. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. Can't go back that far. I can't. All right. So if it's a Prescott thing, there's no numbers no, around that's here. That's a serious door. Where's Gandalf when I need first a padlock? Then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. You 
can do it, Max. I... D uh, I think I have to go back through my footage to see that shopping list again. See whatever is a three character price. I think that's going to be the answer. I feel really dumb. Wait, 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 wait. Two, four, and five are... are faded. Okay. So is the past two... or... I... Oops. Bad code. Is the... Okay, I'll go backwards. Is it the five, four, two? Oh, Where is yes. that from? How was I supposed to get that? I thought that only worked in the movies. Oh, fuck. It's that red number that Nathan had put oh, on, incessant. like, printed on his fucking... Uh, when we were trying to break into his phone. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. Man, I'm dumb. This must have cost a fortune. How was I supposed to remember that? I would never have thought of that. Some fucked up shit. More survivalist supplies. This is more than just a bunker, though. Look at these cans. It's a lot of mushrooms. My David girlfriend would lose her shit. The same store. In a bad way. She would hate water it. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. What's this? Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's help. primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestion for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more... Uh, disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume that you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe his needs... I mean, you believe he needs serious help. If you'd like to talk about this matter, I'm always available. Best, Dr. Jacoby. Jacoby. Like, he's kind of Jacob, but not, like, completely, but he is kind of Jacoby. Tuck tape you know in I mean? a bunker More like is an always a bad sign. Ad Jesus, adjective, ad this. What the living fuck is this? What in the living hell? What in the fresh Sam bloody Bible hell? Ah, the apocalypse entertainment system. Looks old though. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Look at that lens. What the fuck, man? So who's using this fancy tripod? Nathan? He has the money. His parents have the money. Oh, what the... Bottle of... Somebody likes their whiskey. Whiskey? He does drugs. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Hmm. Okay. This is freaky as shit. That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. It's like cool in its own way. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. Needles. Gross. Yeah, I have a problem with they freak. What the f everything is sketchy as fuck. Nothing about Rachel here. Fuck is this place? Oh, there's a computer. Is it up? Oh, there's a note on it, though. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you, or you're on your own. It's unsigned. Let's see what's in here. Oh my god. No. She was down here? 
That's not the... Can you imagine chilling in this room? No, and I don't want to. Oh, that son of a bitch. 1,350,650 dollars. Signed, Sean Prescott. For the construction of this. The Prescotts are crazy. I guess needs the most expensive printer in the world. What's that a printer for? Well, look at all this weird shit. Do I talk to you? No. Oh, I didn't search here. Oh. Shit, there they are. There they are from the first two episodes, the very end, past the credits and everything, if you guys watched that far. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh, it's probably no, full. Kate. No, God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Oh. Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. She didn't pose. Oh my god. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Is that Nathan? <clears throat> that's, um, that's really disturbing. Holy shit. this time there's the dough you, you imagine all this time that you're somebody you love is still alive 
and then you discover they're fucking bad. The anxiety.